Okay, my friends, here we are fitting up for the very last time. I can't tell if you can see that. Our open house sign. I say for the very last time because this is the very last open house for our wonderful Grant. Yay! So, just for the sake of fun, I'm going to walk around a little bit today on the beautiful outside because, wow, look up at that sky. Oh, man. Sometimes in Indiana, it is just beautiful. And I think this sky is gorgeous. So, how beautiful is that? Um, kind of makes me think of my painting, The Vaulted Sky that's in this series, which was one of my more simple paintings, um, but I love it. Look at that green, oof. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is our wheelchair ramp. I've shown you guys that before, it's lovely, it's wonderful. All the way back to the deck in the front. Here we are, Logan Street Sanctuary. Thank you to Logan Street Sanctuary for being a wonderful venue, host venue for my open houses and my project. Uh, where I could do some work, get some painting done, talk to people, meet some people, talk about hidden disabilities. Uh, really, really grateful. Here's the, here's the sign. There's the front door. Welcome, welcome. All right, so now I'm going to go in and go downstairs. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. This is going to be a kind of a weird day. We're going to do some things differently. Man, I just can't stop looking at that sky. Wow. Okay. All right, so once inside, we go down our stairs. I'm not sure you guys have ever gone down the stairs physically with me. Um, there's some of my other paintings on the walls and some other artwork. Ooh, if I watch this video later, I'll get really dizzy. Going down into the basement of Lone Street Sanctuary. Um, this is the green room, and then my, uh, my little art studio is like right on the other side of this wall so yeah now you're getting familiar remember all this yep okay so i'm not on the whatchamacallit i'm on the hand i'm holding the holding the camera today the tripod's upstairs i'll work on I'll, we'll get on the tripod here a little bit but um this is my normal little space as you will recall and i know the light's a little crazy but i'm trying to get a better angle for my most recent painting it's the waiting for my second line one um, I think with the way the light's shining on it, it's going to be hard to, if I focus right there, you'll see some of the colors that aren't in the, the glare of the light up there. So I really like how this one turned out. It makes me really happy. Um, it's the last one. I've already glossed it, so it's kind of shiny. So yay, you guys don't have to watch me gloss, um, a painting today. I do need to wrap it up, but I probably won't put that on. Uh, video because this is the last um, the last open house so I don't really want to take up a lot of time you know, doing something as boring as wrapping up a painting I really wanted to kind of be able to talk a little bit about this whole process and everything but um, I will take this one upstairs and get it wrapped and then we'll uh, uh, get back on video here before I close up today um, I got a few people come in. I want to be able to talk to them. Uh, a couple of them want to be off camera. So, um, actually, I think all of them want to be off camera. So, I will be talking to you um, on my own in a little bit. So, see ya. Be right back in a little bit. Bye. My guests have gone. Um, I'm about to go outside and do my last little bit of today outside because it's just so beautiful out. But as you can see on my easel, um, in my workspace, uh, waiting for my second line is gone. I wrapped it up while I was talking with the people who stopped by today. Uh, I want to thank all of them. Some of them were just friends of mine who wanted to come and be supportive. Um, others uh, had a couple people who wanted to talk a little bit about hidden disabilities, but they didn't really want to be on camera. And, um, you know, sharing their personal stories with me, I respect that. So... Um, 
I'm grateful for for those people and for all the people who came by and talked to me on and off camera, sent messages, emails, Facebook page messages, everything. I mean, people have just been really wonderful. I, I am going to continue to spread the word um, with my project pieces and um, hopefully people will find my videos on YouTube and, and keep you know raising awareness for hidden disabilities. Um, I did want to say a special thanks to the Indiana Arts Commission. I'll probably be thanking them about 50 times a minute, but this this easel, um, I don't know if you can tell, it's a pretty big easel. Um, there's floor to ceiling kind of view. My brother made it for me years ago. The canvas that's on there now, this is uh, 18 by 24 maybe, um, I'm not sure. I don't think it's much bigger than that. I suppose I could measure it if I have a tape measure handy. Oh, I thought I had a tape measure handy, but I guess I don't. Um, pretty sure it's 18 by 24. Um, that has typically been the largest canvas I could ever afford to work on. Um, I've done a couple, um, you know, my, uh, my force of nature is larger than that. Um, this was one of the pieces that I submitted, um, in my proposal for the grant. Um, that's larger, obviously, and then I have the green and the blue, which is 48 by 48, um, Definitely try to get in this basement area. Defer definitely larger scale, but those are really the only two canvases I've ever done that um, were bigger than 18 by 24. And I'll be honest with you, those were canvases that I painted over. Um, I didn't buy those canvases; they were given to me. The large ones, the the green and the blue, and the um, force of nature. Those canvases were given to me. They had some kind of, you know, stock print canvas on them and I put the G-E-S-S-O, Gesso, Gesso, different artists pronounce it different ways, on them and painted over them. So I've never actually had the money to buy canvases that were larger than 18 by 24. So um, this one on the on the easel is 18 by 24 and um, I'm just so grateful to the Indiana Arts Commission for supporting my my grant project because it did allow me to purchase canvases that are a much larger scale than I normally have been able to work on and I know that some of those sizes are not large for some artists some artists do you know wall size murals and things but I, I've never done that kind of large-scale painting so to me this project was large-scale painting. It was taking things that I would normally put on an 8x10 or 11x14 or 16x20 if I'm really stretching it, you know, and being able to put them on a, you know, a larger scale canvas up to 48 by 48 inches was just a dream come true. So thank you to the Indiana Arts Commission for the grant support um, to do that. Now, I was um, thinking, you know, my open houses are over. This is the last one. I'm, you know, every other Tuesday I've been here, down here, working on things and talking to you guys. And, and I'm looking at this blank canvas. And um, this painting, which doesn't exist yet, um, is actually going to end up being a, uh, my, my version of a Minecraft uh, landscape that one of my nephews asked me to paint for him about a year ago and um, I have put that off, put that project off because of my grant um, award and the project that I was working on with my series of paintings for you know about life with hidden disabilities. So long overdue Philip, here comes your painting sooner than you think maybe. Actually my goal is to get it done by October when his birthday is. So uh, a Minecraft scene will be coming soon. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a new one for me. Um, it should be interesting. So I'm going to be back to my uh, strange little uh, paintings that I do for friends and, and for exhibits and just for myself. But Philip's Minecraft scene is is up next so um, I'm gonna take my camera upstairs and and have some final thoughts outside I think it's just a really beautiful day and I want to share the sunshine with everybody so uh, all right uh, let's let's head back upstairs
um, guests have left. It's just me and the old faithful camera and you guys. I want to um, be sure to thank the Indiana Arts Commission for the grant. Um, there's, there's really no way to thank the Indiana Arts Commission enough, but I would like to say that, um, like, I, like I said earlier, being able to create paintings larger than 18 by 24 canvases is, that's a dream come true. Um, and being able to create this series of paintings about um, life with hidden disabilities has been more than a dream come true. Um, I hope they all sell, I hope people love them, but honestly, I love them. They all say what I wanted them to say. I've met so many people that told me their stories in person, online, on the Facebook page, through emails, um, that have told me, you know, their personal stories of their experiences with life with hidden disabilities, and there's just such a wonderful feeling for me as an artist, and especially as a disabled artist, as a disabled person, to be able to share some of those stories and my own um, with a wider audience. Um, it's just, just been incredible. And I couldn't, I couldn't have done any of this without the support from the grant. Um, I've talked a lot about um, being on disability and the financial struggles that come with that. And, um, the grant provided me with the paints, the canvases, the, the texturing medium that I use on a, on a scale, a quantity scale and canvas size scale that um, I couldn't have done on my own. So my gratitude for the Indiana Arts Commission for the grant award is incalculable. Um, the support that they give artists and arts organizations throughout Indiana is unbelievable. If you don't know about them, go on their website, which I'll put in the video, um, and you can pause the video and write it down and all that, um, and, and check them out and support them in any way you can. Support the artists that they support, support the arts venues that they support, and the organizations that they support. Uh, it's truly a remarkable organization, and I am eternally and unbelievably grateful. I'm trying really hard not to not to get emotional um, for the opportunity to uh, complete this grant project, my paintings, and for their support. They're just incredible. Um, the last uh, month of this grant is June, next month. Like I said before, this is my last exhibit, uh, open house, and um, I'll be installing the exhibit on June 1st at Meyer Najum Corporation in Fishers. I will also put their address and information in the video so you can pause it and write it down because I want everybody to come to the open house, the open reception. I can't even talk, I'm too emotional. The opening reception for the exhibit is June 9th. Um, and so I'll put all that information in the video because I obviously I'm after talking with people today and everything I'm just too emotional to think straight so uh, let alone talk straight but um, Meyer Najum has graciously offered me the exhibit space wonderful nickel plate arts is um, helping me with the opening reception they're providing some refreshments and drinks so uh, again, Nickel Plate Arts Organization does so much for artists in the Nickel Plates region, which is basically Hamilton County. And, and um, Meyer Najum is not an arts business. It's based, I, it's a construction company. They build things, but they have a lobby where they want to put local artwork, and they do monthly exhibits. And that's to me, that's the part. So I'm really fortunate that um, Nickel Plate Arts, Meyer Najum and the Indian Arts Commission has helped me with everything it's, it has taken to produce these paintings. I did pr produce 14, <laughs> which is two more than my proposed 12. So, woohoo! Um, but I, 
I'm, I'm so grateful for them, and I'm so grateful for all the people who stopped by my open houses, who sent me messages, who told me their stories. And um, in, the, in the months and years ahead, I'm going to keep spreading the word. I've got all these videos, I've got paintings, I'm going to try to reach out to other organizations and um, schools and other people and, and try to spread the word even more so that uh, hidden disabilities get a little more awareness and uh, people with hidden disabilities don't feel quite so alone. So thank you so much um, for taking this journey with me. I can't, I can't really believe this is the last open house. <laughs> this is the last the last one. It's a little mind-boggling, but I'm so used to coming here every other Tuesday and doing this that um, I'm <laughs> a little unsure what I'm going to do next Tuesday. So I guess I'll be getting ready for the exhibit, which is, again, the month of June at Meyer Nature Corporation in the Fisher. So I'll see all of you at the opening reception June 9th. Thank you again. Thank you for uh, letting me do the last little part of today outside because it's just so beautiful. That's it. Until next time, onward.